<laughs> oh man, he's running. Come on, bud. Getting close. We just got smoke on the runt rod. Is he on? Oh my goodness. You're gonna have to pull up and reel down on that. That drag's just real loose. This is our first one, gang. On the runt rod. You have no <laughs> idea how happy I am right now. Oh, you wanna bring him in? No, nope. you catch the fish. I'm gonna go down there and land him. I will not let him get away. Oh, it looks like a nice oh, whiting. He's running, he's running. Oh, it's a nice whiting. That's a whiting. See him coming. On the runt rod, gang. On the runt rod, y'all. I have been waiting so long. Go ahead, just walk straight, tighten your deck, walk straight back. I'm looking for him, gang. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, there we go. On the runt rod, y'all. <laughs> we made it happen. So crazy. First fish of the day. Welcome to the channel. Y'all hit that like button and subscribe. Little, that I don't know, fun. 12, 14 inch whiting. That was fun. He's gonna make a taco, that's for sure. Rut rod tacos. Watch the lines and all that. I'm like all screwed Just up. leave it dangle there. All right, we're gonna get this guy in the cooler. Get back after a few more. I'm not gonna lie, gang. I wouldn't mind making an entire video of nothing but whiting catches in close on the rut rod. I'd be all right with that. Hey. Slimy slap for that one. For the front rod. You don't uh, what it is. All right, gang, we just got that whiting put in the cooler. So Julie's over here untangling the mess that we made, but I wanted to kind of give you a little rundown on this rod. So these runt rods are a four foot six ultra light rod that Tony from Fishgum designed. And he's given them out to a few different of uh, his friends and creators in the area. And there's been some big fish caught on them. And he made it for catching fish in the surf, which to me, it looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> I tell Brian he's got to do the next he, one. <laughs> he said, I got to catch the next one. I like stuff on ultralight tackle. I thought it looked cool. I thought it was fun. I'm glad we were able to finally get a fish on it, especially one out of the surf. Oh, yeah, I do. All right, gang. We're fish on again on the old run rod. Ooh, he's got little runs in him. Ooh, I think it's a lady fish. That would be nice. I That's see it good. coming. They're just doing a, oh no, another whiting. Ooh, come on, baby, get up here. Oh, Jesus. Crime and he almost fell over the cart. There we go, guys. Whiting number two on he, the front rod. He hit that sand flea. Did he hit the bottom? Did he hit the sand yep. Flea? That's a nice one. Awesome. Better than mine. Way to go, babe. On the front rod. Oh. Why you gotta tangle me all up, dude? Come on, stop, stop it, stop it. Dropping fish means we're fishing. You need the fire. Get it. So the fish are definitely running in close. That's what it's telling me that they're hitting the uh, runt rod. There we can't... go, guys. It's my best whiting ever. Nice job, you gonna measure it up? I mean, it's not gonna be an 18 like the one you got, but. It doesn't matter. PB is a PB. Oh. 17. Way to go. Thank you. Nice job. Very tacos, nice. baby. Tacos. Let the fish see what's going on with YouTube. <laughs> All right. As you can see, we were just getting set up, throwing bait back out there. It's that bait slap time. I'm getting a crab ready. Trying to find a drum or a rod. And Brent's out here just slaying. Brent's content just sitting here catching whiting yeah, all night. Catching dinner. All right, gang, there she goes. Looking, pointing. She saw something. Grabbed her rod, heading off down the beach. I guess this spot that we walked to that was forever far away from the truck wasn't quite far enough for her. So she's going to head down the beach with her. Uh, Cast and jig and see what these fish are that are jumping around. I don't think they're jacks. I'm guessing they're either Spanish or ladyfish, but I, I don't know. So hopefully she gets hooked up and doesn't wander too far down the beach. You guys, I'm down the beach throwing this uh, the hunk of metal. 
Just had a nice hit. No idea what it is. He's running. He's running in. Hi, gang. Julie's hooked up down the beach. I was doing a bait swap. And she started yelling fish on. I haven't seen it yet. You're not fighting like it's a monster, but huh? It's running in right now. Be a little no hard. Idea what it is. Oh, oh it's that. a Spanish. Look at that Spanish. There we go. Nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I saw him jumping way out, and I thought maybe one guy uh -huh. will come in close for me. Great job. You want the towel so he doesn't. I got him. Man, I was me. trying to say so she doesn't get Spanish scales all right, over can her. Can I hand them to you and keep throwing? Yes. They like to um, go in schools. Just throw them up on the beach. There. Go catch more. Ah! I thought you wanted to share in the slime. I hit. was clean. Not anymore. Yo, I'm going to finish what? Doing bait. This is what just got that Spanish, y'all. I'm going to throw it right back out there. everybody I'm gonna sh tell you how we're setting up picking our spot all that good stuff we've already caught whitening on the runt rod that runt rod goes out about 15 yards maybe 20 on a really good cast just because of the way it's set up so we know that the whitening are hitting in sh short we have three zones when we're setting up our poles we have three zones we look for in more shallow right at the sandbar at that drop off and then out in the deep those are the three zones we always try to work in but since that widening hit in we're going to bring a couple more poles in closer you know still hitting other zones but the majority right now the poles are going to be in closer the reason we picked this spot is simply it's a holiday weekend it's busy down here on pensacola there beaches. is a pile of people um so we walked and walked and walked some more brent calf muscles are going to be about this big at the end of the weekend from pulling that car and unfortunately for where we how far we walked we didn't find any rips so what i chose was there's a sandbar right out here and it's the whole length of where our poles are set up but right here is a deep bowl and right down towards the end of our rod is another deep bowl so my way of thinking was the fish will come in because the bait will pull up in these deep bowls, work in the sandbar, in the little fishy highway, they'll hang out for a little bit, maybe refill, I'll pump bait like we do with gas, um, which will then attract the bigger fish in. So that's how we pick the spot. You can't always walk to your prime fishing location, that, you know, magical spot because it's open to everybody, basically. So we got out here later today. Our spots were taken, no big deal. So we're just making it work. But that's another thing when you're out here vacationing, enjoying some surf fishing, look for the bulls. It doesn't always have to be a rip. Anywhere there's deep water. It doesn't have to go all the way through as long as there's deep water and fish can swim in it. It's all a fish highway. I figure at some point or another, some good fish are gonna run through. Okay. We are fish on. Julie's down the beach throwing a lure so unfortunately i think you're stuck with me catching the fish well he's definitely on there still kind of thought he got off there in a minute does not feel pompy but there is a fish on here i think he's over the runt rod well, he's talking a bit Under this one. Oh, it is a pompano. There we go, guys. Got a little pompano action going on. Woo -wee. I yelled for Julie, but she couldn't hear me. 
He's coming now. What'd you get? What'd you get? Nothing new. Nice. That's a good size one too. Definitely an eater. Did you even yell for me? Yeah. Wow. Probably gonna have to edit my yelling out of my video. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe I'll stick a little closer. Nice fish. He ran you down across all the lines, huh? Hey, didn't even feel like a either. Bark. Have keep. There you go. Lots, lots in the cooler today. Have a good, uh, good meal tonight. Weed him in a minute. Good job, babe. Good job. All right, gang. We just got that pompano mess put away. Julie got that thing untangled. I'm not going to lie. I'd have probably cut it. But that was our last uh, quote unquote Julie rig, aka Bruno rig. We got Salty's pompano rig side on the other ones. We're just trying to give them a little variety. But uh, we just saw another school of Spanish bus start jumping around. There's a little weed patch, right? I don't know if you can see my finger. Right about out here. It's real thin and just runs the length of the beach enough to become an annoyance on the set rods but there's definitely fish i saw those so she just said there was a bunch jumping they're just out there just a smidge too far all right gang we just got hooked up i didn't see the hit so i couldn't go for it i apologize gang i was thought i was paying attention but apparently i was not I think he got off. I never saw it. Got off. No, I never saw the hit. I was looking at the rig crab pole. I'll get one back out deep anyway. Dang it. We're fish on at the end. Julie saw the hit. I was <laughs> checking my stinking phone. And it got smoked and it got smoked good. Said he's a fighter. Doing good. Might be another pump. That was out real deep again. Is he shaking it off? Yeah, I did. Like, can, Almost are coming undone. doubled it over. Doing real good. Try to get you guys where you can actually see a little bit. He's swimming sideways on you. That's always a good sign. <laughs> oh man, he's running. Come on, bud. Getting close. Here he comes. The pump. Another pump. <laughs> good job. Another keeper for sure. <laughs> Coming on we'll get rumble. back with you guys in a minute. Julie, something happened. There, all better. <laughs> oh. that's, a, that's a lady angler. There you go, gang. Two pumps. Having always our, fun. Always a good fight. Having ourselves a night all of a sudden. Sampley. He hit the sample. Sampley. Get a rebate and get it right back out there. I'm gonna have to pull that end one in. It's covered in grass again. I'll get this guy measured up here for you in a second. There's that beautiful pompano. Did you measure him yet? Not yet. I uh, had to make quite the dash and started coming undone over this fish, but well worth it. Let's get him measured up. I bet he's gonna be about 13 if I, had a, yeah. if I was a betting man. No, right. not quite. Yeah, just over 12. Yep, keep. Good job. That grass is coming in super thick. You know it's June. Either way, we had a blast today. The run rod was amazing. Putting in the work with the run <laughs> rod, baby. We're gonna um, be using this out in the bays, more in the surf. It was it was fun to fight on the light, light, small tackle. Um, but we we are heading home now because of the June grass. And until next time, y'all keep it real.